Hello learners, this is Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raurkela in the year 2020. Currently, I am a mathematics teacher. Now, let us see how to solve this question. <clears throat> we need to show that integral 0 to pi by 2 x by sin x plus cos x dx is this, what you see on the RHS. Okay, now see, the method which I am going to explain is a little lengthy, but it is given as per the IP textbook, okay, as per the Max 2 textbook, the method which is given in the example, I am going to use the same method, okay, so I am using a little bit more steps. You could cut short some of the steps if you want. That's okay. But please stay with me until then. Okay. I, I'm going to make it easy for you. So please stay with me. First take the given integral as i. Okay. There's a given integral. I've taken it as i. Now listen, there is a property in the definite integration, which states that integral 0 to a f of x dx is nothing but integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx. Okay. Now what does this mean? This means that for the same function, instead of x, you can replace it with a minus x. Okay. Here I have 0 to pi by 2. So my a is pi by 2. Okay. So instead of x, I can use pi, pi by 2 minus x. So in this function, in this function, I instead of x, I can replace it with pi by 2 minus x. Okay. So wherever you see x, so that's why in the numerator there is an x, I use pi by 2 minus x. And here in the sign of x is there. <coughs> Instead of x, I use sine of pi by 2 minus x and cos pi by 2 minus x. I hope it is clear. Now let's go ahead. So sine pi by 2 minus x is nothing but cos x and cos pi by 2 minus x is nothing but sine x. Okay, basic trigonometry. Fine. Now just reverse the denominator. I mean reverse the terms in the denominator. So cos x plus sine x, I wrote it as sine x plus cos x and mark it as 2. Okay, let's go ahead. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the two equations. Okay, which two equations? Equation 1 and equation 2. We are going to add them. Now, what will happen? Just see the magic. Now, see, if I'm going to add them, add 1 and 2. Okay, this is my first one and this is my second one. Okay, uh, both of them have LHS as I. So, in the, in the LHS, I'm going to have I plus I. Okay, now next. And in the RHS, these two integrals will get added. All good. Now, if you observe, there is one interesting point to observe here. Here, if you see, in the denominator, I have sin x plus cos x. Here also I have sin x plus cos x. And both of them have the same integral with the same limits. Okay, integral with the same limits. Now, what can I do? I can simply write a write one integral for these two terms. Also, since these two have same denominator, I can just add up the numerators, right? Because 1 by a plus 1 by a is 2 by a. Because the denominators are same, I can just add the numerators. Okay, so i plus i is 2i. So, as I mentioned, same one, one, one integral 0 to pi by 2, x plus pi by 2 minus x by sin x plus cos x dx. Okay. Now, you see, this is what I told, x and x will get cancelled. Because of this, okay, because of this, <coughs> I did what I did just now. Okay. This uh, writing of the, chaining of things and all that. Okay. So, if we can, if I cancel it, I would be left out with this. Pi by 2, I just wrote it here. Dx, I kept it here. Okay. Fine. Now, next. Uh, this... 2, you can just send it here. So, i will be nothing but pi by 4 integral 0 to pi by 2 dx by sin x plus cos x. Now, this was just one part of the question. After this, some tedious things are going to come. But please stay with me. I know I won't bore you. I'm going to go to the point and I'll explain in a way so which is easy for you. Okay. Any doubts? Please come in the comments box. Okay. Now, next. What, what is the substitution? See, in the denominator, I have sin x and cos x and the limits are 0 to pi by 2. In such cases, when the denominator in the denominator I have something like sin x and cos x, what I need to do is I used to I need to use t is equal to sin x by 2. Okay. I'm sorry, put t is equal to tan x by 2. Okay. Put t is equal to tan x by 2. Okay. Now if what will happen if I'll take t as tan x by 2? Now differentiate it. If I differentiate both sides, dt will be nothing but what is derivative of secant square x? I'm sorry, what is derivative of tan x? Derivative of tan x is secant square x. Okay. But here I have x by 2. So tan x by 2. So that's why I have secant square x by 2. Into I will get derivative of x by 2. Okay, chain rule. What is derivative of x by 2? 1 by 2. That's why I have into 1 by 2 and then dx. Fine. Next. Uh, what is secant square x? How can I write secant square x as? Secant square x can be written as 1 plus tan square x. Okay. Identity, basic identity from trigonometry. Now, this is nothing but I'm writing it as 2 secant 1 plus tan square x by 2. Fine. dx. 
and this two which you see here that I sent it here. So two dt is equal to one plus tan square x by two. Okay. What is what is tan x by two? Tan x by two is nothing but t, right? So tan square x by two is nothing but t square. So I can write this as two dt is equal to one plus t square into dx. Now next send this one plus t square here. Okay. If you send it, I'll get two dt by one plus t square will be nothing but dx. Okay. Fine. In case you are feeling this is difficult, in case if you feel like all these steps are tedious, what you could do is uh, you can just write this step in the exam and next you can directly write this step. If you can mug it up, it's totally okay. But for your explanation, I've given these three steps in the between. Fine. No marks will be deducted. Uh, if you write put t is equal to tan x by 2 and then 2 dt by 1 plus t square is. The x is understood. Okay. In the textbook also it is given like that. Next. Likewise, sin x will be nothing but 2t by 1 plus t square and cos x will be nothing but 1 minus t square by 1 plus t square. Okay. Just mug it up. Why and how? Let's not go into so many details, otherwise the video will be too big. Already I know this is going to be a bit big because the question is a bit tough. Okay, but please stay with me. Okay, take a deep breath. Chalo, let's resume. Now we got, uh, I got uh, dx. dx is nothing but 2 dv, 2 dt by 1 plus t square. Sin x and cos x, this you need to mug it up. Sin x is this. Now next, whenever we make a substitution, here what I've done, I've done a substitution. Okay. Whenever we make a substitution, the limits will also change. In the previous integral, what were the limits? Limits were 0 to pi by 2. Okay. Limits were 0 to pi by 2. So when I, so now I'm going to change those limits. When t will be when x, uh, those are those were limits for x. Okay. Now I want limits for t because that is my variable right now. Okay. Fine. Chalo. Now next, if I put x as uh, 0. Okay. If if my x is 0. Then t will be what t I took it as tan x by 2 will be nothing but tan 0 by 2 which is nothing but 0 tan 0 is 0 all good now next uh, when when I, when x is pi by 2 when x is pi by 2 t will be tan x by 2 right so pi by 2 by 2 so basically I have because x is pi by 2 pi by 2 by 2 is nothing but pi by 4 okay so tan pi by 4 which is nothing but 1 okay all good so my limit my new limits for t are uh, 0 to 1 okay so I know this entire thing might seem like what is this, but still it is bare. <clears throat> Let's keep going. Now, if you see, this was our previous integral. Okay, this was our previous integral. It's pi by 4 integral 0 to pi by 2 dx by 1 plus cos. As I mentioned, dx is nothing but 2 dt by 1 plus t square and sin x is, I showed you, uh, sin x is 2t by 1 plus t square, cos x is 1 minus t square by 1 plus t square and limits will change from 0 to 1. Okay, I will be so so many transformations. Now you can check. As I mentioned, zero limits are 0 to 1, 2 dt by 1 plus t square. Everything's in one place. All good. Chalo. Now let's start simplifying. Now, if you see both of these two, these two have the same denominator. So I can just add up the numerator. So I'll get 2t plus 1 minus t square. Okay. I will be nothing but pi by 4 integral 0 to 1. This is their numerator. 2t plus 1 minus t square by 1 plus t square. All good. Now let's keep going. Now 1 plus t square, 1 plus t square, I can cancel. Okay, denominator is same. Let's keep going. So I'll get I will be nothing but and now what you do is write minus t square first. Okay, write minus t square first. Minus t square plus 2t plus 1. Okay. Now next, if you see here, I have a 2 here, I have pi by 4. So 2 ones are 2 twos are. So I will be nothing but pi by 2 integral dt by and next thing. What I'm going to do is take minus common. Okay, take minus common in this entire denominator. I'll get t square minus 2t minus 1. Okay. All good. Now I'm going to explain how I'm going to convert this uh, into something like a square minus something. Okay. Okay. Now you can see that in case if you feel it's difficult, I'll tell you how, where to write, how much to write. Okay. Fine. So I will be nothing but pi by 2 integral from here. Next. So <clears throat> fine. Now this t, uh, 2t, I can write it as 2 into t into 1. All good. Now next. This is like, this is like a square minus 2ab if you observe. This is like a square minus 2ab. What is missing? b square plus b square is missing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add what is my b here? 1. So I'm going to add and subtract 1 square plus 1 square minus 1 square. That's what you're going to see in the next step. So plus 1 square minus 1 square. This minus 1 was already there from the beginning. Okay, fine. Now if you see these three terms, okay, these three terms, these three terms form a minus b whole square. a square minus 2ab plus b square is nothing but a minus b whole square. Here it's nothing but t minus 1 whole square. All good. And then 1 square is 1 minus 1 minus 1 is going to be minus 2. Okay. Fine. So pi by 2 integral 0 to 1 dt by minus of t square minus 1, t minus 1 whole square minus 2. Now, if you see this is in the form of some square, okay, t minus 1 whole square, but 2 is it of some square? No. How can I write 2? 
as something square i can write 2 as root 2 whole square okay i can write 2 as root 2 whole square so that's what i did i wrote 2 as root 2 whole square now this minus sign which is there outside right now multiply the minus side take the minus side inside so this which is positive will be will become negative and this which is negative will become positive so ultimately i'm going to get this pi by 2 integral dt by root 2 whole square minus of t minus 1 whole square okay fine now this was all explanation okay it would be well and good if you could write all this in the exam it will make sure it will it will put a good impression to the examiner but if you feel this is difficult i cannot write so much in the exam what you could do is uh, after this step okay after this step which you are seeing after this step okay after this step if you can mug up instead of writing all this you can directly write this step next okay i don't think you would some any marks would be deducted if you do that you can directly do like this but it would be better best would be if you like in case if you feel i'm not it's going to lengthy then you can do what i mentioned like the steps in between otherwise show the working it's always good if you show the working okay because the examiner will understand that okay this guy, the person who has written this has clear cut clarity on what the person is doing okay so fine let's keep going now if you see this integral is of the form integral dx by a square minus x square heard somewhere okay i know many of you might have forgotten it or you might feel okay what is this but still let's keep going so this is of the form integral dx by a square minus x square the formula is 1 by 2a log a plus x by e minus x okay chalo now from here on no deductions you will have to write how i am explaining because that much is needed fine now see now see i'm going to explain slowly listen be with me now here integral dx by a square minus x square is 1 by 2a into log a plus x by e minus x okay this is the formula okay fine now here what is my a square it is root 2 whole square right so a is root 2 okay a is root 2 and what is my x in place of x i have t minus 1 t minus 1 in place of a i have root 2 in place of x i have t minus 1 okay what is the formula 1 by 2a so a, a is 1 by 2 a is root 2 so i have 1 by 2 root 2 okay this pi by 2 you keep it it is outside only next log of a plus x by a minus x okay a plus x by a minus x a a is what root 2 plus x is what t minus 1 and root 2 minus of t minus 1 a minus x means root 2 minus of t minus 1. okay and the limits are what are the limits are which are you need to use 0 to 1 that i wrote here 0 and 1 all good little simplification is needed and this 1 by 2 root 2 it's a constant we can take it outside okay 1 by 2 root 2 is a constant we can take it outside so ultimately i'll have pi by 4 root 2 because you see 2 two 2s are 4 and root 2 okay next here there is a minus sign in between okay there is a minus sign so multiply it minus t plus 1 it will be so if i'll multiply the minus like minus t plus 1 here okay chalo root 2 minus t plus 1 0 1 1 okay now all good we can start substituting the limits first the upper limit i need to put first the upper limit the upper limit is 1 so i'll have i will be pi by 4 root 2 into wherever you see t okay in place of t put 1 first root 2 plus 1 minus 1 by root 2 minus 1 plus 1 minus next in place of t put 0 that's my lower limit root 2 plus 0 minus 1 by root 2 minus 0 plus 1 okay all good chalo now here you see 1 minus 1 and minus 1 plus 1 they will like cancel out each other and root 2 is the 0 like it's there or not there it's okay so root 2 minus 1 by root 2 plus 1 pi by 4 root 2 into log root 2 by root 2 minus log root 2 minus 1 by root 2 plus 1 all good chalo so here this will be nothing but 1 1 root 2 this to cancel like log 1 i'll get <coughs> and then <coughs> now listen now listen this minus sign if i'll take it inside the, i mean there is a property in the logarithms i'll just explain it the property states that minus log a by b is nothing but log b by a okay minus log a by b is nothing but log b by a fine uh, that's why this ma minus log it's there root 2 minus 1 by root 2 plus 1 would tied become root 2 plus 1 by root 2 minus 1 okay and log 1 is 0 log 1 is 0 so pi by 4 root 2 into 0 plus next next we need to do something what is that something we need to rationalize the denominator which is present here Now, how to rationalize it? Just multiply 
and divide by here there is root 2 minus 1 so you need to multiply and divide with root 2 plus 1 okay so root 2 minus 1, root 2 plus 1 by root 2 minus 1 into root 2 plus 1 by root 2 plus 1 okay now root 2 plus 1 into root 2 plus 1 numerator if i'll multiply what would i get root 2 plus 1 whole square root 2 minus 1 into root 2 plus 1 it is like a minus b into a plus b okay so that's nothing but a square minus b square so what i'd be getting is this root 2 square minus 1 square and root 2 plus 1 whole square okay now what is root 2 square root 2 square is nothing but 2 and 1 square is 1 so you can see this log of root 2 plus 1 whole square by 2 minus 1 what is 2 minus 1 obviously it is 1 now in the denominator if 1 is there if you if you write it if you don't write it it is okay so let's keep going forward pi by 4 root into log root 2 plus 1 whole square now in the logarithms there is one more property what is the property it states that log a power m is nothing but m log s so basically this power which is there it will be it will come as a coefficient like it will come as a coefficient so that's why this 2 it came out here okay now 2 ones are 2 twos are so i will be nothing but pi by 2 root 2 into log root 2 plus 1 wow we ultimately got what we wanted pi by 2 root 2 log root 2 plus 1. i know the journey must have been tedious just listening must have felt a little bit boring i know but if we want to clear the exam if we want you want to get good marks if you want to get we want to get knowledge little sacrifice is needed right but really thank you thank you very much for staying with me up till now like, seriously thank you for staying with me up till now any comments like anything you feel felt you did not understand somewhere like please do come in come in the comments box i'll try my best to help you out there and if you like this video please hit the like button it will encourage me to make many more of such videos and not just that if this is your first time coming across to my channel please do subscribe okay not just this question i've made other questions related to other chapters as well like theory of equations quadratic expressions and circles others you can just go through browse my channel or like check out the description some of the links you will find it there okay so thank you